My name is John Holland. I am a media consultant and my connection to this place was I was here as a reporter for CBS News during the war of 1992 to 1995. I am familiar with this part of Sarajevo. We were, we were covering a lot of the political developments before um, independence was declared uh, in, in April of 92 and then the problems that followed that. But I remember confronting people on the um, on the streets here and they were already beginning to wonder what was going to happen to the great institutions of this country. Um, how well would uh, culture be preserved? How well would, uh, would memories be retained? A, a museum like this is important because without it we have nothing but a, a vacuum to be, to be left filled with people who wish to perhaps rewrite history and to influence it in a way that is, doesn't do anybody any good. The, the, the people who continue to live here, who have mothers, fathers, grandmothers, uncles, who have that storytelling tradition. What museums, the death of such museums creates is um, the death of storytelling, the, 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 the death of a conscience, the death of, a, uh, of, of memory, and memory is important. We like to say we have to move on, we have to, to get past the past, but you can't, and nor should you entirely, and what we have here in this museum is a, um, a remarkable collection of items that will, I think, help cement and hold this country together in, in some kind of collective identity. It's surprising and shocking how many, um, how necessary it is to state simple things about why museums exist. I have a small child. Uh, one day I want to bring my child here and explain why this place continues to be unique in, in bringing together so many cultures under one national roof and um, to do so in a way which bred so much understanding and learning and tolerance over so many centuries, but of course has also brought its, its destructive resistant forces. We need to continue to explain through whatever channels we can, particularly to the young generations who perhaps want to have a memory, would like to develop a memory, who are being pushed against by the forces of ignorance who would just as soon see places like this disappear to rubble and dust to have a parking lot built over it or a, a shopping mall and that does it, us no good at all. The people who work here and have worked for a long time without pay I think are extraordinarily heroic. They're committed to a larger ideal. We should continue to find creative ways of nourishing them, of sustaining them until a proper model or business model can be put in place that the politicians can agree on. But I show my solidarity with anyone who is in favor of fighting against the death of understanding. And um, my, my wish and my hope is that eventually people will recognize that you need a museum of this magnitude in the way that you need running water and, uh, and basic services and functioning hospitals. This is, the, this is the soul of a nation we're talking about. This is bigger than you are. To the politicians I say, this is bigger than you are. You have no right to deny people's uh, access to its history and to the things that bind it together. History binds, no matter what we want to make of it. There's no such thing as the death of history unlike what some political scientists have said in the past. History goes on. It is cyclical. We must be aware of what, uh, what can come again, but we hope that regardless of what history brings, places like this will continue to endure, and politicians basically need to make the funding available and then get out of the way. John Holland, I am the museum. Mm -hmm.